We grind hardened steel and stainless steel, and we often have issues with loading. What can we do to deal with this? There are a lot of different things you can do to reduce loading. Some people say, oh, lower your material removal rate so you have fewer chips flying through. Some people say switch to a, a more open dress or a more open structure to give more space for chip formation. Uh, the first thing that I do that I recommend to my customers, and in a lot of cases this is enough, uh, to actually fix the problem or reduce your loading to acceptable levels and that is to improve your cooling. Two major things, the two most important things are you want to get your coolant velocity up to your wheel velocity. So if your wheels going at 10,000 surface feet a minute you want that coolant flying along at 10,000 surface feet a minute getting into the hot spot. Not about flow rates, it's about velocity. And number two is nozzle aim. You want that nozzle to hit right at the interface or just a tiny bit above between the wheel and the workpiece. Why does better cooling help with loading? The main reason is this. When you've got these hot stringy chips coming off uh, from the workpiece, graining steel, graining hardened steel, hot stringy chips, let's say they stick within the porosity of the wheel. Now you got another chip coming and you have a second hot stringy chip coming and it sticks to that previous hot sticky chip. And next thing you know, lots and lots of hot sticky chips to stick to each other and we get a big blob of loaded material. However, if when that hot sticky chip comes flying off of the workpiece, he's surrounded by a bunch of cold coolant, the cold coolant quenches that hot sticky chip and the hot sticky chip transforms from being hot and sticky to being cold and brittle. Cold and brittle things are more likely just to fly off with the wheel and if we have cold brittle chips coming off they fly off with the wheel they don't stick to previous chips. So if you can improve your cooling you'll get a pretty significant decrease in loading. So that's num reason number one is the quench factor. Reason number two has to do with chemical reactions between the grit and the workpiece. Uh, the main reason that stainless steel is so nasty to grind in terms of loading is because stainless steel forms a chromium oxide layer, Cr2O3. Aluminum oxide is Al2O3. They're mutually soluble in one another, the Cr2O3 and the Al2O3. So they'll sort of chemically react or dissolve away in one another. That's just a nasty chemical reaction between the two. If we can get some coolant between the grit and the workpiece, so instead of having that aluminum oxide, Al2O3, contacting that Cr2O3 on the surface of the workpiece, we've got that Al2O3 grit coming along, but he's just got a little bit of coolant there to wet the surface and to provide a barrier between the grit and the workpiece, so that Cr2O3, Al2O3 reaction either doesn't occur or it's slowed down or it's retarded, or the temperatures are lower so that, that reaction doesn't occur as quickly and therefore we've really slowed the amount of chemical loading that we have. But in either case, good cooling reduces both mechanical loading and chemical loading and that's the method that I've had the most success with in terms of reducing loading. Good cooling goes back to having a good cooling velocity and a good aim on your nozzle.